Welcome to the spoken tutorial about the importance of breastfeeding. In this tutorial, we will learn about importance of breastfeeding, benefits of breastfeeding for the babies and the mothers. Breastfeeding is a vital process. It starts from the birth of a child to its second birthday or beyond. Breastfeeding gives a healthy start of life to the infant. It decides the immediate and future health of a child and the mother. The benefits of it lasts a lifetime for both of them. Even malnourished mothers can breastfeed their baby. During pregnancy, breast size increases. This is due to an increase in the number of milk producing tissues. However, the final size of the breasts do not affect the milk production amount. Breastfeeding should be initiated within one hour of birth. This increases the supply of breast milk. Therefore, exclusive breastfeeding in the first six months also increases. It further helps in extending breastfeeding beyond two years. The risk of neonatal deaths is low in babies who are breastfed within one hour. Delayed breastfeeding can increase the risk of diseases in newborn babies. For example, diabetes, obesity and high blood pressure. Early initiation of breastfeeding also ensures that the baby receives colostrum. Colostrum is the first milk secreted by the mother after giving birth. For babies, it is a primary source of energy and nutrients. It is important for them, especially in the initial days of their lives. It has a large number of infection-fighting elements, vitamin A and good fat. Numerous Growth and protective factors are also there in colostrum. Colostrum has a property which helps to remove the old feces faster. Detailed benefits of colostrum are discussed in another tutorial. Please check the website for more details. Remember that exclusive breastfeeding should be done for the first six months. Breast milk is a unique natural food which cannot be duplicated. When the baby completes 6 months, complementary food should be started. It should be given along with breastfeeding. Breastfeeding should be continued until 2 years or beyond. There are many benefits of breastfeeding for the babies. Nutrients and composition of breast milk are ideal for digestion by babies. Through breast milk, babies get antibodies. Antibodies strengthen the immunity of the baby and reduces the risk of infections. Additionally, it prevents allergic reactions in babies. Breast milk also contains growth factors. They help in the development of the lining of the baby's intestine. It promotes the growth of good bacteria in the baby's intestine. Thus, it protects the babies against intestinal inflammation and infection. Similarly, it helps in the development of all other organs of the body. Breastfeeding reduces the risk of diarrhea. Other benefits are prevention of ear infections and tooth decay, development of jaws and proper alignment of teeth are some other examples. Risk of developing some diseases later in life also gets reduced. For example, diabetes, obesity, high blood pressure and blood cancer. The risk of respiratory diseases like asthma 
and pneumonia also gets reduced. Breastfeeding reduces the chances of sudden death in babies below 1 year of age. The risk of developing atopic eczema is also less in breastfed babies. Eczema is a condition in which skin develops red, itchy and rough patches. Breastfed babies are also less likely to be hospitalized for illness and infections. Breastfed babies have better control over their appetite. Breast milk contains appetite-controlling hormones. Such hormones help the babies listen to their body's hunger and satiety signals. This self-regulation is disturbed in babies who are not breastfed. Eventually, this can lead to overeating, obesity and later diabetes. Breastfeeding also has an effect on the brain. The breast milk has components which help in brain development and maturation. Breastfed children have a higher IQ and other skills. Breast milk benefits premature babies even more. Suckling at the breast improves the breathing in such babies. These babies are at a risk of developing intestinal infection. For example, diarrhea and necrotizing enterocolitis, which is known as NEC. NEC is a serious condition caused due to infection and damage to the intestine. Breast milk protects premature babies from this infection. Milk from mothers of premature babies is rich in infection-fighting proteins. It also contains intestinal protective growth-promoting factors. High concentration of specific amino acids and good bacteria is also present. These amino acids are essential for growth in premature infants. Thus, breast milk helps in preventing infections and gaining weight. Breastfeeding reduces long-term problems caused due to premature birth. For example, problems of the lungs and eyes. Thus, premature babies should get a maximum amount of breast milk. Even kangaroo mother care, also known as KMC, is useful for premature babies. It improves the frequency and duration of breastfeeding in them. Skin-to-skin -skin contact during KMC helps maintain the baby's body temperature. It also helps in stabilizing the baby's heartbeat and oxygen levels in blood. The procedure for kangaroo mother care has been explained in an another tutorial. Apart from babies, breastfeeding is beneficial for mothers as well. The benefits are immediate and long term. Immediate breastfeeding after childbirth helps reduce vaginal bleeding. It increases the level of oxytocin hormone in the body. This helps in expelling the placenta out of the body. As a result, uterus contractions are improved and vaginal bleeding reduces. Thus, anemia can be prevented in mothers. There are psychological advantages of breastfeeding for mothers. Frequent skin-to-skin -skin contact develops bonding between the mother and her baby. This bonding makes the mother ready to breastfeed. Ultimately, it reduces the postpartum stress and depression in mothers. Breastfeeding also has long-term benefits for mothers. It prevents weakening of the bones in the later age. The risk of breast cancer and ovarian cancer 
also gets reduced. During pregnancy, women gain fat around internal body organs such as stomach, intestine and liver. This fat is hidden in the belly or abdominal region. Excess of this fat can result in insulin resistance, diabetes and obesity. Breastfeeding helps reduce this fat in women. It minimizes the risk of obesity, hypertension and heart diseases. Exclusive breastfeeding can act as a natural birth control. However, couples should use contraception after 6 weeks of delivery. This helps in keeping space between two pregnancies. There are some economical benefits of breastfeeding. Breast milk is available free of cost and is best for the baby. It does not involve money spent on formula milk, bottles and plastic nipples. Extra time is also not spent in preparing breast milk. Hot water, utensils and heating fuel is not required for preparing breast milk. Dirty water or dirty feeding bottles can make the baby sick. Thus, healthcare costs for the mother and baby is low in the future years. There are several environmental benefits of breastfeeding too. Firstly, breastfeeding does not involve any packaging or transportation. It does not produce any waste, smoke or noise. It reduces pollution by saving global resources and energy. Therefore, breastfeeding is the best option. Mothers should ensure to breastfeed the baby from birth until 2 years of age. This is for the good health of the baby and the mother as well. Breastfeeding requires an understanding of the correct breastfeeding technique. Along with that, adequate support and guidance from the family is necessary too. All of this has been explained in an another tutorial of the same series. This brings us to the end of the tutorial. Thanks for joining.